Kilauea has been erupting for 35 years, so, so it's not like all of a sudden there's a new volcano erupting. Um, this is certainly a change in behavior, and so we don't, can't predict everything that will happen with that. This is not really an unexpected thing. Um, the timing is maybe unexpected, but the whole surface of Kilauea volcano, every few thousand years, gets recoded in lava, and that's how the volcano builds and builds over time. It's hard to predict how long the fissures will stay open and, and how far the lava flows will go. It's possible that they, you know, in a few weeks the lava flows will stop and, and the plumbing system under the volcano will do something different. On the other hand, it's also possible that the lava flows will continue to come out from this lower part of the, the eastern flank and they could go all the way to the ocean. In Hawaii, the volcanoes are built up as mountains and so the lava flows almost always are gonna run downhill with very few exceptions. And so we can do a lot of things with maps to tell based on the, the shape of the land and the topography where the lava flows are most likely to go. So when these kinds of eruptions happen, um, they're spectacular to see. If you have reservations on the west side of uh, the island, Big Island of Hawaii, or you're going to the other islands, probably you, you wanna pay attention to the news, but I wouldn't expect there'd be any problems. If you don't have reservations and you weren't planning to go and you think, wow, this would be an exciting time to go, it's probably you and a million other people. <laughs> so um, this, this probably isn't this is the, the best time to go if you're interested in the volcano because the park is closed temporarily. Um, it's just too dangerous and it, it adds to the chaos that the civil protection units in, in Hawaii are trying to control. So you don't really have to worry about volcanism on any of the other islands uh, being, being a, a problem if you go there. Depending on the amount of gas that gets put out by the volcano and the wind directions, there's always a chance that there could be some, some VOG alerts on some of the other islands that are, that are up the chain to the northwest. Hawaii is very well prepared. They, they are, have a great civil protection agency and they're prepared for all the kinds of things that can happen there. So as long as you pay attention to the official sources, it shouldn't be any more dangerous now to go to the other islands than, than, it, than it normally would be.